this is an awesome solution. There's no need for a big wagon like you would need with traditional scaffolds. This, this might be the way forward then, Tom. No crash bags for us. Proper job. If you're in the building trade, you will know that scaffolding is an integral part to any building site. It enables you to work safely at height, it keeps you protected and it keeps those around you protected as well. With this in mind, we have taken the big step in investing in this. This is called GDEC scaffolding. It's an awesome bit of kit and massive thanks to Dave from GDEC. He came out the other day and gave us all some training on exactly how to put this up and how to maintain it and make sure it's safe to work on. So without further ado, let me show you around it and show you what it does. So the first thing we notice about the scaffold is its ease of construction and how well it goes together. It comes in small sections, so it's really easy to transport. So there's no need for a big wagon like you would need with traditional scaffold. You could easily fit this in the back of the van, which makes it really versatile for any builder to use. You can just chuck it in the back of your van, move it onto the next site and put it back up. It's really, really easy stuff. So that's one of the key selling points for us. Basically, it comes in different size panels. So above us now, this is a one meter square panel. We also have 750 mil by one meter and 500 mil by one meter. It goes together on these legs. It's really easy, like I said, to put together. You literally just get two legs up, hook the panel in on top like that, and get two more legs underneath. And then you've got four posts with the panel in the middle. And then they literally just slot together like that, nice and easy all the way through. Really simple, really quick to put together as well. And you can easily make it fit any room like we've done here. So because it's in these small sections, it's really versatile and it can fit any space. The extension that we're building here is on a massive angle to the existing build. So we've managed to work it round nicely, just so it fits in perfectly and it's nice and stable as well. What we do, We've built our main framework up and then we've got these filler panels here. So these orange panels are filler panels or bridging panels. They act as, like I said, a filler because these are obviously square and the area that we're going into isn't square. We can use these panels to go across areas like that and then use our cam straps here to tighten everything up and make sure it's all nice and solid. These also are used as tensioners as well. So they go butted up against the wall and then we use a special formation with these cam straps, which basically pulls everything nice and tight puts it up against it and then keeps it solid like this. So there's absolutely no movement whatsoever. Really, really good stuff. These are basically a bar. These come in various different sizes. This is a one square meter edge area. So we use this one meter bar. They also come in a 750 length and a 500 length as well, depending on what panels you're using. Straight in, straight in. And then what that does enables a lot of rigidity within the frame. So you can use this stuff as a freestanding tower scaffold as well. And using this system, it's really rigid as well, nice and solid. When you go to a certain height, they do do some additional bracing as well, some stabilizers, just to make sure it doesn't wobble anywhere. But it is very good and very rigid at a good height anyway. So let's go upstairs. I'll show you how we use these as handrails. I'll show you the filler panels and the additional panels as well. So let's go. So going up the ladder, the first thing you notice is this. So this is the ladder bracket. It slots into the same locator hole as our braces. And then it's also got a little clamp bit which goes over the post to hold it all nice and steady. We then use some of these cam straps just to hold the ladder on and make sure it doesn't come off because you need to be safe when you're going up the ladder. Then we go through the gate. So this is basically the same setup as a traditional scaffold gate. It's just got a spring on there so you can walk up, open the gate, close it, by letting go and it closes itself automatically. You will also notice that it's a lot wider than a traditional scaffold gate, which is really good when you're trying to get materials or tools or anything like that up, because it's always a bit of a squeeze to get through. This is giving you a metre space, so you've got loads of room to get up here. It makes it nice and easy. So come up and I'll show you all the bars. So you're working at height. One thing that you definitely need is full protection. So this is what the handrails are for. These posts in here aren't the handrail posts. The handrail posts will finish at this height. These are just the posts that we had extra. We just thought we'd put in a taller post because it just makes sense to have a bit extra there if you can. So depending on where your posts sit, you may want an adjustable one like this. All you need to do is slide it to where you need it to do, turn this bolt like that, and that's it. You've got your handrail exactly how you need it. In that side, in that side, tap them down, tighten this up here, and that's it handrails in place. Perfect. Next up, what we've got 
is these. These are our filler panels or our bridging panels. You'll notice that they're a different colour, that's because these could be a trip hazard. So obviously if they're bright orange you can see it stands out massively from the rest of the floor. By painting it orange it just gives you that little bit more incentive to step over it or realise that it's there. These are just strapped down using our cam straps like I showed you from underneath. So it keeps everything nice and rigid and they can also be used as a brace. So they go up against the wall and then we use our little tensioning strap as well. Pushes it against the wall, keeps everything nice and solid. In some cases you will have to use a panel like this to overlap. So if you come over here, I'll just show you underneath there, GDEC actually do some magnetic strips which say please mind the step and they obviously warn you that there is a trip hazard there, okay? Because sometimes those orange panels aren't wide enough to go where you need. So by using that, it just basically keeps you keeps your eye on the prize and you know that you're not going to trip over when you see that. So one of the reasons that we prefer this over traditional scaffold is that it's basically like you're working on the floor, on the ground, but obviously at the height that you need to. It enables you to get to everything that you need without being up and down ladders or working on wobbly trestles. There's also no bars for you to trip over because occasionally you'll have a pole sticking through the boards. There's no holes in between boards, so no ankle breaking moments. It literally is like you're working on the floor. Really good stuff and we're definitely going to use it for many more years to come. I'm not taking anything away from traditional scaffold. There will be times where we will need to use it, but this is an awesome solution. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a big thumbs up and also smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications. So every time we release a new video, you will be notified. You've been watching me and all the guys from Build With A&E. Until next time, stay safe.